So welcome to the PR and events meeting. First item on the agenda is 073, which is apologies for absence. There are none. Okay. And then 074 is declarations of interest to receive any declarations of interest in accordance with the requirements of the Local Act 2011 and to consider any requests for dispensations in respect of pecuniary and non pecuniary interests in agenda items. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. 075 to resolve to approve as a true, uh, as a correct record, the notes of the meeting of the committee held on 7th of December 2022 and to authorise the chair to sign the official minutes. All proposed. Second. Okay. Any in favour? Yeah. to members and has been responded to. And press releases, we need to put a post to Facebook about Carter's Park being closed on the 23rd of January between 9.30 and 12.30 for tree work. Okay. Okay. 077 is the 80th anniversary of D-Day and to discuss and resolve to agree an event. Obviously this came through um, following on from the beacon lighting scenario with the coronation, uh, which they're not doing, but they are going to be doing for the D-Day. So it's what do we want to do? What's the date? Um, well, firstly, do we want to do anything? Well, that is a very Are they question. definitely lighting the beacon for that? Or that is, i.e. we have to? Oh. You don't have to. You don't have to. No, but it is well, part is of the celebrations if you wish to do so. Yeah, we organise that, do we? Yes. Mm -hmm. So where's D-Day? <coughs> Isn't it's June, 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 or something like that. I can't remember the... He sent out an email, didn't he? So it's going to be sort of a month on from the coronation? No, yeah, no, it's 2024. 2024? Oh, okay. Overlord. Right, we're planning well in the middle. Yeah. So what date is it? 6th of June, 2024. 24, not 23. Yeah, it's 24, it's not this year. The reason I asked for it to be put on so that we could start the conversation yeah. early. Yeah, right. Because if we do want to do something, a lot Everything's of these people are going to be booked up. They're all going to mm. be booked up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, also, you know, do we want to do something with Howard as well? Oh, I can't say I've had a discussion with Howard, not about this. But regarding remembrance, he has no intentions of ever working with the council, ever. Mm. Ever, ever. Uh, he would also consider his health. Yeah, he's quite ill, isn't he? Oh, is he? Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think we should do something, absolutely. Mm. Have we done anything before for the 17th or 17th? No, we haven't. <coughs> We've not done anything for that. But the beacon lighting for the Jubilee did go extremely it did. well. Yeah. People yeah. like the beacon lighting ceremony, so <coughs> that's, and, and the people that are involved locally are very used, they're, they're good at it, they're, they're happy to help and do yeah. that. Um, so <coughs> you could do something it. around that. Yeah, the weather typically that day is pretty grand. Yeah. Um, anyway, so whatever event is put on, it could be a washout. Mm. That's worth considering. Yeah, I mean, I was just having thoughts this morning about it, and it just went through my head of potentially, if you were doing your beacon lighting, obviously it's going to be later in the day because it'll be a set time. Yeah. So the event would be later in the day. So yes. would it be something, yes, you can do something like we did at the Beacon Lighting where you've got the barbecue and you've got bits and pieces going on that end, but it's not a very big area. Mm. Um, but could you combine the two together and have a parade from the cemetery at Hallgate? So everybody congregates there and parades up to the beacon and then 
just do the beacon lighting mm -hmm. rather than having people congregating for any yeah. length of time at the beacon and, <laughs> and doing something around that. It could be led by a vehicle of some sort. You could have you could have all of your ATC and your your army cadets mm -hmm. and your local veterans that are still. You could have a vehicle for the veterans to ride in, couldn't you? Because they're not yeah, going to be able to walk. Be very few of them there's not going to be many. There's no. not going to be many. But that would be a decent length of parade going from all gates and it's so. a fairly easy road closure. Yeah, mm, it is. <laughs> Which is useful. Yeah. Rather than trying to do a daytime event and then having to light the beacon because yeah. it's just not going to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a thought. Yeah. Is it worth saying if there's any World War Two enactment groups in, in and around this area? Yeah. So to give them car sparks if they want to use it for that day. Yeah. Going mm -hmm. to charge them, anyway. No, that's right. Is it the um, the fair did have something a few years ago? They had a military reenactment, military vehicles there. Um, mm -hmm. I think, but I don't know where they would have got them from. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure there's people out there. You know, if you start putting out feelers now. Yes. Mm. And trying to find mm. people that are willing to do things. Yeah. There is a, an ex parish councillor whose brother has a <clears throat> military vehicle um, museum. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. So I'm told. <clears throat> okay. Who has provided some of the vehicles for Harold's parade before. Mm -hmm. That I think would be worth looking into. Worth looking into. Yeah. How far is that? Is that very local or? I can't remember, Clive, but can't be that far. No, it's it's in Lincolnshire, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if we start looking at different ideas and you know putting out a few feelers mm -hmm. and trying to come up with something, I mean, again, it would be. I mean, what what day is the day? Yeah. What day is it? Because if it's mm. again, if it's a weekday, then you've got to think yeah, around true. that. Yeah. yeah. Now would we'll also be a good time to get in touch with the Battle of Britain Memorial. Yes, I. Yeah. Ask them if they can so give us a flyover. Yeah. Nice. I mean, they'll be doing you know, in the They'll be doing all around the country, so yeah. you won't be able to guarantee your time. So, you, I mean, if it's a Thursday, you'd probably be better off doing. I mean, because if you're doing the beacon lighting, it's going to be later on yeah. at that point of the yeah. year, isn't it? But they may. If you had the parade. At least then it'll be in the evening for people. I don't know whether they'll, because the week before, the 27th of May the bank is the bank holiday, so whether they switch it, but then it's not, it's 80th not. anniversary isn't the same as the 75th I yeah. Remember, yeah. is it? No. I so don't think they will. I don't think, none of us will know, will we? No. no. That's the problem. I but doubt very much if there'll be any veterans from D-Day there, though. Not now. I don't think we have any in the parish anymore, do we? Not that I'm aware of, no. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. No, I mean, we don't. The youngest is going to be at least 94. <coughs> That's right. Mm. Isn't he? Because they're 14 year old. I suppose it's mm. discussing what other groups are going to do. I know when you normally have these sort of events, you have the uh, people doing the exhibition of old Hull Beach stuff mm -hmm. and memorabilia and things like that. Mm. Well, so you put that on over seven over days. The weekend. So yeah, that would probably be at the, you know, over a period of. But the if there's end. things like that, we can tie into, and then we say do a parade and beacon lighting on the actual yeah. day, because then that'll be in the evening and people can attend. Mm. What day was it? Thursday. 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 Yeah, Thursday. yeah, me Thursday. to be allowed. Where's the hurricane that's been placed? Is it that we spoke to? Yeah, because they did fly over here on the way to. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mentioning that. Yes. Yeah. Because if they are lighting the beacon, then we'll sort of. He's got other contacts. Yeah. They've decided they are lighting beacons for it, aren't they? Yeah, because the official has come out saying that. So really, people were very confused as to whether the coronation would have the beacon yeah. lighting. Yes. They they sent the email out saying no, that wouldn't. But mm. the plan is to do the 80th anniversary mm. because yeah. it's. I think it would be. It's important to remember, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So it would be nice if you if you were doing that and the beacon lighting instead of having too much music etc going yeah. on, do the parade right. and then just the lighting. Yeah. So it's a bit more. Because the, if you had any form of vehicle or whatever 
they could go onto that side area and mm -hmm. just go out of the way and then the people would spill out around like they had before. Yeah. Um, and you just keep it simple. Yeah. We won't be able to find out anything about road closure to no, this no, no, time no. next year because no. they won't be able to do it. But, but it would be a simple you've got road closure to do because, because you've do got it. Um, the, the cemetery, you've got a good area to gather mm -hmm. so people can start at a, a point. You're yeah. not going to just have to rely on the road mm -hmm. and then just walk straight out and walk along and. Mm -hmm get to the other end because then you'd keep your road closure barrier back again wouldn't you, you would... if you're starting at the cemetery could it be um quite nice to put a plaque on the wall or something mm -hmm. yeah I think we should do something i mean we did talk about at one stage um doing a i know obviously got the war memorial and things like that but doing some sort of um sculpture with and actually have um, the names hanging off of the sculpture or something. I, I mean, maybe, I don't know whether if there's a list of D-Day veterans, whether you could do something like that, because mm. it's not it's necessarily... Yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be good. And then having doing a sculpture, doing that like a tree or something, mm -hmm. and then you can have the leaves with the names on, or you can have something, and then they actually just attach to... Mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, to come up with something. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's people out there that, that there must be a list of names of local people that were involved, potentially. Yeah, that's a good idea, isn't there's it? nothing on the former or <coughs> I don't know how the second I studied it. I think there is. Uh, there probably would be, but is. whether they would be D-Day veterans. No, you usually have the diaries, don't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. I bet, I bet if you ask Linda, you might have yeah. Yeah, Linda, some names. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. you, the archives would have it somewhere. Mm. It would be quite nice if you were doing a memorial thing where you're putting small plaques or something on, mm. that you do it so much, you could do all the names of the D-Day veterans this time, mm. and as you go through the various anniversaries, you add all the other names to it and you keep adding to it. So a bit like the um, Thomas Grant Memorial, where mm. you yeah, that's sort of, steel yeah. wall. Yeah. Yeah. Something you add names to it. Yeah. So you're not then just going on one particular one, you keep adding each time there's a various anniversary come up. That's cool idea. We'll be looking to start because obviously that would need to be budgeted for next year. Next March or year. So we need to start thinking about it. it would take a while to get that commission out done. So yeah. You need to find is it if you're going to have something bespoke or are you going to look for something that's sort of more that you can buy off the pegs type thing mm -hmm. and add to it but I, I don't know need to come up with some ideas i think really don't we mm -hmm. yeah yeah they need some skills likely to do it mm. we know somebody who can fabricate some yes we mm -hmm. do yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. To a group exactly. Yeah, we know. We know several people, but yes. But it depends on what sort of thing you're looking for. What, yeah, what, yeah. And I, yeah. I mean, that would have to go out to public consultation. Yeah, wouldn't it? You'd, want, yeah. you'd want to come up with some ideas and say. You, you'd want to have the thing that it attaches to, and then you would order the individual mm. plaques, etc., to fit onto it. They really need to be standardised so they're cheap enough to keep buying and you can buy them in future years. That's right. And then the sculpture of some sort is the more bespoke piece. Mm -hmm. I would suggest at the Baker Light and then we have World War Two music. Yeah. Rather than Yeah, you yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. Have what, sorry, Rick? World War Two music, you know, Vera Lynn and Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like might even be worth looking to see if we could Hi, that group of girls that get dressed up as Yeah, that you've got mm -hmm. several groups out there yeah. that do yeah. that sort of thing. Oh, they did the event at Spills, didn't they? Yeah. But again, mm -hmm. those people will be booked up really early. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, as soon as we know that we are definitely going to do something, we need to get yeah. people pencil. So yeah. it's to discuss and agree an event. What are we thinking? Are we set on an idea or are we exploring ideas? I think we're exploring. I think at this point we're exploring, aren't we? Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to agree on an event, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to do an event. We it's don't whether have we to. do it just for the beacon, yeah. whether that's just yeah. what you're doing, or whether you're spilling over we'll into it, the yeah. weekend. But we'll definitely do a beacon lighting of yeah. some sort. So we're, we're going to defer the decision. I think we'll, we definitely agree that we'll do a beacon lighting. Mm. Mm. And hold an event. Yes. And hold an some event. form of an event yeah. Yeah. around yeah. that date. And we need to do a brainstorming session or dig it with a whiteboard. Mm, yes. A whiteboard? You have to go into Jan's office. And I totally agree, I love whiteboards. <laughs> yeah. Proposal? Thank you. Getting me out of that one. Second now. Yeah. Thank you. Can I replace it with my whiteboard? It's not on the agenda. Okay. Right, so moving on, 078, Christmas Fair, to discuss, and discuss the following, the forthcoming Christmas Fair meeting and to resolve to agree the format. So... Are we going to have a, like we did for Boston Road to hold a meeting? Um, we? uh, well, sort of. Um, we, at our last meeting we, we decided that obviously we need to do it sooner rather than later because we need to start moving things forward. Mm. Um, <laughs> so we decided we'd do it prior to the... Um, next full council meeting, and we'd have from 5.30, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 5.30 until 6.30, and then you'll have a slight break then before you start your open forum. Can't they, uh, yeah. in here? Sorry? In here? No, 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 Sending, not directly inviting, but mm -hmm. the traders in the town will be have the opportunity to come if they wish. Yeah. And all of the traders that we had that had stalls, yeah, we'll just send out an email to all of them. Yeah. If anybody wants to come, and members of the public as well, because the key thing is, it's not we're not we don't want to be fixated on what went wrong. Yeah. We need to think about. Things that can be improved, absolutely. Only but one, one we need thing to be. Went wrong. We need to think about. Okay, are we growing the event? Is yeah, yeah. it going to be bigger? And if so, we will need more volunteers mm. because we can't grow it without are we, volunteers. Are we allowed to close off that road that leads to Barrington Gate? You no, know, will we stopped. Yes, we can close beyond. Yeah. I mean, I was just thinking about the farm road trying to get through. That's all. Well, again, you would. You'd have to let a vehicle come through if yeah, you needed yeah. to. But I was just thinking if you carry on down the high street, yeah. mm. you, you're going to have to be careful how you put the yeah, you gazebos would. up because you've got to leave gap for yeah. an island. Well, you've it? got to leave one carriageway over. There's probably yeah. enough room, you know, if that's the width of the road, to mm. have them, you know, facing the stalls with a sufficient gap in the middle. I think there would be in certain areas, but yeah. not the whole way around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you'd have to be careful. Yeah, yeah. Because so you'd have to look where you could do it. Yeah. 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 Some people would say they want it all down the middle, don't you they? Can't, yeah. can't you can't do, do it. Um, no. I think it was more the practicality of people being able to set up yeah. and have enough room. Because you have enough room with the stalls, yeah. but looking at it, it's that pinch point in the middle where it gets quite narrow. You didn't quite have enough room for people setting up no. parking cars and but yeah. further down the high street outside exactly. the mansion house you've got enough room to have the stalls either side yeah, yeah. so it's just kind of jiggling well, the perhaps, layout perhaps, we, perhaps if we start setting up earlier well we do yeah, we need to do that absolutely we do i think we need the, need the, the road closure applied for for the whole day so from yeah. nine o'clock and, and, and then yeah, even if you don't use it for the whole time yeah you've got come it. Off, can't it, but yeah so what's the format for the meeting and who's going to facilitate it and placate individuals that <laughs> is wrong. Uh, well, I'm not proposed. Well, to be <laughs> obviously, all members of this committee will yeah. be there. Yeah. It will be a matter of, I suspect, well, I may be proved wrong, you'll have hardly anybody turn up. I, I suspect. would suggest you have different <coughs> topics of conversation. Location being one of them, yeah. So, the layout of the stalls, how far along the road they would like us to go, yeah. it's not definite, but location yeah. activities, yeah. Don't, don't get a bloody snow globe, no, 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 what activities they want, 
who is willing to do it, said activities. That, that's this, the trouble is getting the volunteers again. Because, isn't it? I mean, Jamie's doing Santa, is they going to do that again next year? Those sort of things. And then probably volunteers. Yeah. They're the three main things that we've got to think yeah, about. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I have. I mean, we can invite the church to come along to that meeting as well because I have mm -hmm. broached the subject with them. But I think that needs to be a separate meeting with them about their event. Yes. That yeah. But it's, it's, just, yeah, yeah. it's knowing who who is going to be doing what. Because obviously, Jamie's did the Santa. Is he going to do that again next year? Are the church going to do their bit? Is there any key businesses who are going to do something or want to be involved in any way? Is there any other people who want to be involved by volunteering, helping out? And what do they want and where do they want it? Yes. And then if you keep the topics of conversation to those three things and you go through it like an agenda, yeah. then so, it's not going to go off piece. So if we, far. when we send it out, because I'm happy if we can get, if we can get, we need to get it out to the businesses early part of next week, the latest, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. Just needs to be a small thing to be put through the door. Yeah, A5 flyer. Yeah, A5 flyer. So if we basically do like the time where the time and the date where it is, and then the topics that will be discussed, and you put it on there, so that it's very clear that it is not a free for all of mm -hmm. let's just yeah, and it's exactly. planning That's next right. year's event, yeah. not having mm -hmm. a mind about this year. Planning this year's event. Well, this year's yes, yeah. sorry. Review, yeah. Yeah, yeah. review, yeah, to a degree. Review. Yeah. Brief because review. what went, we, we all know what went well, and we all know the key thing that was wrong. And it was only just one, well, a couple it, of I mean, it was, it was that little things. stretch in the middle. Yeah. It, it, you know, when you measure it out on a map, you think, oh, yeah, you can fit a stall there, you can get a car park. But when you, Actually, doing it on the ground, yeah. thinking about setting up and everything. Well, that's a good lesson learned for this year it's as well, isn't it? Now, yeah. yeah. it should be. So, yeah. if we know so, the issue is there, yeah. and now as well, we also know that there is not enough time for setting up from 10 o'clock no. or for half past 10. Because yeah. yeah. we didn't allow them to come until half past 10, there wasn't enough time. No. Because we were then struggling to get the cars mm. out. In yeah. time for that yeah. full road closure, yeah. so it needs to be brought forward. So yeah. those are the two key things that need to improve. Definitely. We know that. Yeah. But We're then, not saying that it was perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Mm -hmm. Was it broke, grind by person? But it, well, I, think yeah. I think it's you know key to get the uh, the agenda right. So you know kicking off with introduction benefits to the town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. of, of having it, yeah. and then really saying okay, you know. This went well. These are the things that we did well. Mm -hmm. These are the focus areas for improvement for next year. Mm -hmm. You know, and getting their thoughts in, and then bringing them in, you know, to that other uh, itemised agenda, so that they mm -hmm. can start contributing to it yeah. and yeah. being part of it. How do we? I think we ask for their contact. Want to go for sponsorship? We can ask for their contact email addresses uh, and telephone numbers as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's great because it saves me a job of walking down High Street. Mm -hmm. But it means that we can reach out to them uh, yeah. as well. So what is the view that did go wrong then, apart from Madden from the family just that, fight? Just that. It, just it that. was that key, that is that area. Pinch point. It, is, it yeah. was, yeah, it was a pinch point. Yeah. It was a pinch point that we, we had a bit too much in that, in that area, yeah. but the reason we had to do it that way, yes, I, I know what there's, there's, the comment was, well, you could have moved them across to where the, the betting shop was, because that wouldn't have been so, it, it wouldn't have mattered if that yeah. had been blocked off. But you couldn't, because then you got to have the traffic got, to be able to get through yeah. in yeah, an yeah. emergency, yeah. and we had to have the stalls on the opposite side near Cars and More because yeah. we were using their electric. Well, I mean, so it, you know, it was, yeah. but they did a fantastic. There, there was a reasoning <laughs> why it had been done the way it had been yeah. done originally. The whole idea was to have all the stalls down one side and not on both sides. Then you would have had the chicane. But because you'd got that chicane point, you had to step it back from the yeah. junction. Yeah, of course. But I absolutely yeah. know those individuals don't know those restrictions. Well, yeah, they don't. Obviously, no. So, mm -hmm. Really not. Because they're not to, thinking. To they're, they're thinking about how it impacted on them. Absolutely, and we understand that. Yeah. But there's, there were reasons why it was mapped out the way it was, 
And again, we weren't sure how many stalls we were going to be having at one stage. So we had originally said the cut-off point, even though we've got the road closure to Barrington Gate, if we haven't got enough stalls, we would have stopped at that point. We can hold yeah. our hands up and say it's a learning experience. Yeah. Yeah. And we want them on board. Yeah. She has had feedback though, hasn't she, from us? Not by no, not, not by to the yeah. meeting. So okay. the idea is we can discuss all this. Yeah, we can review what's you know to improve. Mm. But it's about getting people on board for next year <laughs> because yeah. if we want to grow the event, we've got to have more people involved yeah. because we can't just have. It's the people on the yeah. day more than anything. Well, the other alternative is, is, you know, don't delve into the things that, that went wrong. Yeah. Just really, um, at that meeting, mm -hmm. is exactly. to say that we will organise a series of smaller meetings leading up to the event, yeah. Yeah. where um, any issues arising from yeah. last year's event can, be. can then be addressed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rather than it yeah. being a slamming match. Well, the, yeah. there's no point to that, is there? You're no. not going to gain anything. And I think really it's getting from the people who turn up, you know, what what things do they want from next year? Yes. So if they would like us to look into expanding it further on the high street or doing other things or bringing in extra activities, we need to know well in advance so we can start putting that together. That's, you know, well, I think we issue. need to be prepared because there's no doubt that people will come along at the moment. There will be some, but I think you will find, I mean, having done this many a year, <laughs> from the point of view of business as well, well, but you know, I had business in town and we've been through this whole scenario in various guises of, you know, the Chamber of Commerce and this, that and the other, organising events for people and I can absolutely guarantee that if you're lucky, you will get six traders turn up. And that will be if you're lucky, because that's what it is invariably. It's not that they don't want to help in some way, shape or form, but they don't want to get involved in the organising. No, that's fine. And, and that's absolutely mm -hmm. fair, you know, they've got the business to run and they've got things to think about. But there does need to be a two-way conversation about, okay, so what, what do we, what can we help provide for you? Yeah. But you two also have to provide something for yourselves on the day, mm -hmm. because if you don't, you will miss out. Yeah, ultimately, so getting their email address of course, so we can then update them on the outcome easier. of this meeting, yeah. whether or not they turn up. Yeah. What I was getting at is how are we going to, how are we going to manage what might happen on the day on the day of the meeting. I think you just you you make sure you've got a clear way you're setting out the meeting and if it gets too much of moaning about the previous year then you've you've got to bring it back to the you just got to move it on you know we can't do anything about what happened what we can do is affect what we do next mm. year so you're you, you've you've got that. to be looking towards the future rather than yeah we know, you know that but we've got to make sure it's a positive not yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, and, and again you've only got an hour yeah so it needs yeah, to be. So right. you know, yeah. you've got an hour to get through the important things that you need to discuss. Yeah. If there are things or particular areas that need more discussion, then that will have to be another meeting. Yeah, meeting. That's right. But we need to get an overview of yeah. where we're going with it, what is actually going to be happening for next year. I think that's and start to formulate when it. you just start off the meeting. What we're there for yes. and the fact that we're looking to get a basic overview of what they're wanting next year who wants to be involved who's doing what etc etc so we can start putting things in place because we need to do the road closure we need to do you know we need to know from them what they want and how we, can we can discuss what we can deliver and they can offer their services if they would like to help. Yeah. what about the newspaper i mean look what time do they normally turn up not until just before the meeting. Yeah. But we can, once we've formulated the, the basis of what the event will look like, yeah. Yeah. we start drip feeding. Mm -hmm. yeah. cool. um, one thing that did, we did do wrong was the drop curve issue. Yes. Um, which yes. we need to be aware of next year. Yeah, yeah, making sure that the stalls don't drop, uh, don't don't have the drop, drop, the drop serves. No, I mean, you don't necessarily have to keep every single drop cut, but you have no. to keep or not no. that people, people can, can. Yeah, people can access the shops and get on the pavement. Yeah. 
yeah. again, it's, it's a walkthrough of the area and, and actually planning it out and thinking, well, okay, well, that will work there, that will work mm. there, because it, yeah, it was... Just, yeah, just, this one's get on board, yeah. and then there's a series of more detailed meetings yeah. where drop curbs can come up. And yeah, this is kind of a, an overview of getting people, yeah. Yeah. and then we can go into more detail later on. Yeah, okay, so if we've produced the little flyer, Mm -hmm. with the details of the meeting, the key points that are going to be discussed. Your chair. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Should we just edit the poster we used for last year's Christmas plan? Yeah. Yeah. Be a bit more eye-catching than just yeah. right well, the role, will you, or is that you're going to do that? That's what we are going to do, yeah. <laughs> I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, so do that. And get that ready to be delivered okay. to businesses next week mm -hmm. and we will then contact all of the people that came from traders with stalls mm -hmm. and give them the opportunity as well. Yep. I'll contact the person that made the complaint yeah. and say that mm -hmm. the, 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 the opportunity is there. Yeah. Um, and then put it on Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Next client. Yeah. 079 is the Twin Town uh, to receive an update following a meeting with the organisers and to agree a way forward. Okay, so the Twinning Committee or group no longer exists as such mainly because they haven't got enough people to host. So when the, they want to come over from Cezanne to here, they haven't got enough families that were able to host. Um, there are still some key people that are very keen and they would still love to have it. They've still got their own contacts, their own personal contacts over there and they, they're continuing with that. They would love to see it resurrected, <coughs> but as a group, they not they not, don't exist as such. So it's do we wish to try and do something around um, getting the town and the area back on board with trying to get them interested in being yeah, so hosts? It's, it's, it's the kids and it's the schools that probably well, would yeah, be the most. But are they interested if they're not interested? Are we planning for this year or for next year? Uh, well, any time, it's, really. it's any just time going. It's, it's really sort of talking about where where we want to take it. I mean, you could weave it into the um, you know the 80th anniversary of D Day. Yeah, you could actually mm. somewhere along there. Yeah, um, and that keeps you know a year to build up ties and communication. Um, ready for that event. Mm. I don't. I, I. mean, yes. I don't think many people actually know that we are twinned with anybody. No. To be honest, there's no Spaldings anywhere, is it? No. Well, I don't know. There is at Spalding because it's the district that's twinned. It's oh, like okay. Holland that's twinned. Oh, okay. All right. Right. So it's probably no. It is. It is South Holland that is twinned. Oh, okay. But. Holbeach had got the hub of the people that actually connected, to be fair. Are we going to move right. our eyes south on them that they're looking at doing this? Well, I don't just think, it, thinking of it's not really a... It's a tricky one because it, it, the group really sort of did everything and mm. it, it was only ever when you had them coming over here, South Holland would host an, an mm. official event mm. um, but it wasn't necessarily they didn't they don't get involved in any okay. more than that really how big um, is how many I don't know to be honest I wouldn't know because we just twinned with one town then uh, we were twinned with two no but I mean the the district of South Holland it was well, twinned with one well, town or is it the dish you know i, I mean it, it's, it's become a dish yes yeah. it, it, i 
personally, I think it is Holbridge and Cezanne that are twinned. Yeah. The towns in yes. the Um yeah. It became more of a district wide thing because there the were less people, people yeah, available. Less people to available. Yeah. But the schools used to have the connections, but they don't now. And there was the German town that they were twinned with as well. The group that did do something, yeah. what did they do? Apart from just kind of those people are. That's what they did. Okay. They did socials themselves to yeah. try and sort of keep. Because, I mean, you, yes, you can host and you can have the family living with you. But if you're trying to think about it more as a boost in the economy, get people involved, would you not want them staying in your local B&Bs and hotels? <coughs> I know that it's then a bit of a cost, yes. but you, yeah. you're working yeah. with the businesses, yes. aren't you? Rather yeah. Exactly, and you do a reduced rate, perhaps. And... Yeah. But that's thinking a lot further. Yeah. We haven't even got any, we've got some links, but we're not doing anything at all at the moment. Can and the B&B, they could part three families. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? You could part three families. That's not a I don't live in Hulbeach, yeah. I don't know. You will be the same moving though, wouldn't you? <laughs> so, I was just looking to see if I could find out how big the town was. Yeah. Whether it was it's a not huge, town. but it's close to Champagne. Yes, so. it is. Mm. I do. I think it is something that we need to try and educate people a little bit more as to the mm. there is that link there. But I mean, like with events like food festival and things like that, would it be worth if the people who have the links and used to do it are happy, they could have a stall there mm. and sort of promotional right. things yeah. and the app, you know, Advertising. and see if we can try and grow it back again yeah. and then look at doing an event because if you haven't, if people don't know and they've got the interest, you'd A, want to do stalls at little events to grow the interest and B, contact schools because if the schools are not wanting to do anything about it, then, you know. Most people will think what's in it for me. Yeah. Anyway, is it worth, I mean, you know, these people that are still in contact, is it worth reaching out to them? one or two of them to yeah. see whether okay, yeah. Suzanne are actually interested oh, in Oh no, they are, absolutely they are. Yeah, they are. I mean, as Definitely. Uh, in ten. fact, they were more disappointed, I think, than, than our end, they, because that... Right. They so really the town want, mayor... They do not ask all The mayor really is yeah. good. Yeah. He is good. Yes, he is. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's good. He should, don't know. Okay. But, so, I mean, maybe we, we have discussions, maybe we have a meeting with them, with them, but also do we try and have a meeting with... Suzanne's there. Yeah, just, just sort of see. Yeah, I don't mind going over there. I mean, people, <laughs> no, I'm just like, if they're more established and, and they've yeah. got the interest, yeah. you know, it's not just about us doing something, yeah. it's them doing something mm -hmm. as well, isn't it? Yeah. And it's who's ready to do it first. Yeah. Realistically. It's, certainly in my youth, it was, it was the schools. That it was the schools. I lived in France yeah. to stay with the family. Yeah. And yeah. Well, it used to be. A young man come over and stay um, with us. It may be that you, we kind of have conversations with key people here, see if we can get a bit of interest, <laughs> and then arrange a meeting with both sides, because there's no point us planning something and not talking to yeah. them and stuff. So in the interim, if we... If we have a meeting with the, the existing people that are left, if, if they're interested, yes. and sort of see if we, mm. if they would, if they want to try and rekindle it, rekindle it mm. because they've got the knowledge, obviously, yeah. because they've been doing it for years. Mm. If they're happy to do a couple of events and be at an event, that I suppose it's also thinking about what direction are you going with it. What, what are you attempting to do? Are you attempting to have the they come here, we go there? But then what, what do they do when they come here? Because if they just stay with the family and that's it, they, they take them to various places yeah. of interest. Mm. Weeding in college it's, park. It's getting the schools back into it. <laughs> it is getting the schools back Because it's the excitement of going over to a different place that's mm -hmm. really what people will be interested in. Yeah. And providing activities and events for them to do when they come over here and vice versa. Because if not, they're just coming over, aren't they? Yeah. As long as they bring cheese and frogs, they're not happy. They say, we haven't got the champagne, have we? <laughs> so, you know, Don't like it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think if we if we can start the process off, I mean, the schools are key, and mm. I do think I need to be talking yeah. to the schools. We did, at one stage, when I was governor at one, they did 
try and they did get a link with one of the schools there, but it, I don't think it went any further. It, it sort of fizzled out. Mm -hmm. But that's you know that's what that needs to be happening. Mm. Yeah, but again, if you've, if you've got one of our schools that's interested and we've got links and the mayor and their side is interested, then they can do the legwork their side and get links with their school. Yeah. Rather than the schools having to contact each other directly, you know, we all work yeah. together to see if we can get it done. Yeah, I mean, I can pop into our with Bank School and have a chat with them to see if they're mm -hmm. interested. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, it's the bigger schools, isn't it? And Hull Beach, yeah. I don't know where the Mark's got. Some good contacts. Mm. We've got contacts at primary. Yeah, yeah. At the um, same as yeah. Yeah. Bank, but I mean, yeah. I can, I can definitely foster the contact there. It, it is at senior level that you really want to try and it was get something. At school yeah. Level, mm. Not junior. Yeah. <clears throat> Do we know who does that sort of thing at your age? No, but could we attempt to speak to the woman who we have our next farm education? Yes, yeah. Is that's that the, is that the head teacher? No, she's not head. Deputy she, head. She's, she's, she's senior leadership. Yes. Okay. Speak to her and see, to her and see who yeah. What. So if we sort of put out a few feelers. And then we'll probably bring it back, not next meeting, but in two or three months and sort of see where we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. If, 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 yeah. if we haven't got the interest locally around here, there's no point. There's no point, no. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to then to ask the existing people if they're interested in the arrangement meeting and then bring back to committee in March. And yeah. speak to the schools. Yeah, speak to, to the schools. If and foster any connections with the schools and see if they'd be interested in doing anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So basically, it's a brilliant way forward. Yeah. I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. S H. Uh, Great. Thank you. Uh, zero eighty mm -hmm. is the combination to resolve to agree the event for the next year or this year's combination. Not next year's. It's this year's. Now. Is this year's combination now? Because you've got next year. Oh, yes. Oh, well, 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 that was correct. Was it? Yeah, at the time. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we discussed it previously, didn't we, about doing something on the Sunday mm -hmm. because we felt that the Saturday everybody would be wanting to watch it. Uh, we now have got the bank holiday on the Monday, so everybody will be recuperating on the Monday, ready to go back to work on the Tuesday. So Sunday would be the sensible day. So are we still set on the whole idea of doing something in Carter's Park of like a bit like a family fun day, picnic, picnic in the park? Yeah. It's a cheap event. A bit of entertainment yeah, yeah. And of whatever kind. Mm -hmm. I think there's a few activities for the kids to do. Yeah. Um, have a couple of food vans and then people can bring their own food. If they want to, yeah. If they want to. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And if we can find some music of some sort. Mm -hmm. I do think an idea that came up was um, about the band doing a bit of a proms type thing. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, it'd be nice to have the the band, the town band, earlier in the day, so sort of, sort of mm -hmm. you know, more lunch time, early afternoon, and then go into something a bit more. So we need to book them quickly then? Yes. Yeah. Or a bit like a bandstand type. Yeah, that's yeah. something. That'd be yeah. good. Yeah. So you have different types of music. Music throughout the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or different areas of the park. Yeah. Well, we've got a stage. Move. We have got a stage as well. Yeah, you've got a small we? stage, which yeah. would be fine for you know, yeah. a couple of people all on there. Yeah. And yeah. There, but the band would need a bigger area, yeah, so yeah. you put them somewhere else. Yeah. Um, um, there was that. Oh, he does small like, vintage mm -hmm. music, yeah. but she tends to get booked up quite quickly. Does, so. but if we put out a few feelers, what budget are we, what do we say for coronation? I can't remember now. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, Jan's looking at that. Sophie, who won the uh, Christmas decoration? 
I don't know the name, but it's the one with the most likes. Oh, have you? Has it been announced yet then? <coughs> no. No, um, I think Jan was going to contact them and just okay. let them know. Yeah, I need you to tell me which one it is. How many were there? Well, I think I got to, was it four? Four, yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll get more of it next year. Yeah. Started off earlier. Because there, I mean, there are loads of houses here. Well, I did wonder whether instead of doing like the, um, digressing slightly, um, <coughs> the window competition for the mm. businesses, and, you know, if it's a voluntary entry and you say it's the best dressed property, commercial Pro property and residential. So you sort of combine the two. Because then that would next year. <laughs> so because it was also enable other businesses who maybe don't have a high school <coughs> shop. Yeah. To fifteen decorate get involved. Yeah, cool. Alright. How much? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred, okay. So you'd need some form of entertainment for the kids. So yeah. there's various things out there, so we can start to put a bit of wishes together. Face painting, <laughs> what's going on around the Yeah, face painting, so. that sort of thing, and then you've got your... That, what was it, Poppy? The radio Poppy. reindeer radio thing, reindeer. but you do a different yeah. type, type of thing for that. You could do something mm -hmm. else. So you, you were really busy on that, weren't you? Yeah. At Christmas. So. Yeah. Uh, did that cover its cost or not? No, it didn't, but we were only charging a quid. Yeah. Okay. And we had only got it for a set period of time. But it, it got Are you close to you're gonna do other Bounty Castles though? Yeah, I, personally I think Because they are free. Yeah, we don't have to pay for them. The only um, thing that worries me is the same as Peter is the, yes, the supervision. Yeah. But yeah. We, you can But then I'm just thinking if you, companies out there yes. it. you know, it's just thinking about the competition, you don't want to be hiring in the no. radio thing and also have no, but yeah, you know, if we look at what yeah. is out there and what's available. So you want to book some form of inflatable. Yeah. Several bits of music. Yeah. Food. Food. Fun. Face painting. Face painting. Mm -hmm. It's going to land well. Anything else? Want to land alcohol, are we? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Are. Yeah. 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 But I think it's anything finding... that, that's going to attract people. Well, if we yeah we need. Yes. Is he interested? I, I don't know. know. I need to speak. So I don't know when he's allowed. Uh, he's booked in for a car show, isn't he? Yeah. Bar. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have to check with him yeah. as to when he can. Mm. Yeah. But if not, there's other sort of like ones where um, you get like a smaller... Yeah, smaller, yeah. Type thing. You can Anybody do, do those balloon... Oh you know, uh, yeah, you could do it actually. What is really popular that's been popular before is like circus skills. Yeah. Mm, something a bit different. You have so, to pay for it, but yeah, yeah, that type okay. of thing. There's, there's various stuff out there. Mm -hmm. we, we know that we've got a budget of up to fifteen hundred. So if we find what we want and start getting them booked, because if we don't, maybe we are not. Yeah, we need to book more. So I'll contact the band first, town band, and see if they're available. Um, do you want me to contact the bar? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, the the <coughs> lady who does the more vintage type music. And yeah. Stuff. Yeah. See if she's available. We'll we'll have a trawl through bits and pieces. This when you say vintage music, you talk she's about. Like the 40s ish. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. 30s, 40s, that mm. sort of thing, isn't it? Mm. She does. So there's various stuff out there, isn't there? Mm. <laughs> but she, she's that played in various other local pubs, so. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that sort of stuff. Yeah, it will be in yeah. his 40s, won't it? Yeah. Mm. We'll, uh, we'll have a look and see yeah. what we can find. Yeah. And then a couple of food bands of some sort. Mm -hmm. Which is a couple. There's two more, or two or three more that have contacted recently. Yeah. So we've got, got a few, yeah, quite a few different ones, haven't we? So. Yeah. A few things. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so that's what we've resolved. Very good. Proposal, please. Yeah. Second that. Thank you. All agreed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So just on that, do we get the politician involved? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> the, I mean, the, the problem we've IP? got is that yes, we yes. don't know <clears throat> at that point. No, you don't know who's. We don't. We won't know who's elected. You'll know who's elected. Yes. MP. Yes. You'll still know that. But 
other than that, you won't no. you're only just It's difficult with that though, isn't it? Because if you've got um if he's got an event going on in Bolton then he'll be there. He did come to the Jubilee. He did all the Jubilee events. Yeah. Does he go round all yeah. of them? I don't know what he does, but you know, at those events, but it might be good to consider. Well, you could, you could yeah. invite him along. Inviting him, absolutely. Yeah. Once we've got this time sorted out, just yeah. invite I him. I think it'll be between this time and this time. Yes. Come along. If invite. you invite yeah. all of your dignitaries yeah, indeed. at the time, yeah. then. Yeah. Good. Okay. Tier 81 is calendar competition to discuss the result of re the calendar competition for 24. So it'd be 24. I think from the feedback. No, no, 23, surely. No, it's, it's the calendar we're 24. Yeah, the calendar we're 24. Okay. Calendar, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Right. Competition for this year, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's confusing. Yeah, I read a little bit, and I think it was long Sutton. Photography mm -hmm. produced one, mm -hmm. nine pounds, mm -hmm. but they did the A3 yeah. size. So I think from the feedback I got, that an A3 size this time. Mm. We need to know what, because technically it's the same amount of paper, isn't it? If I go back to Well and Print and ask him, because it's a it's a fixed price. Yeah. He did give me a price last year, which I'll have somewhere or other, mm -hmm. and ask him what it would be. The yeah. big the big thing is you've got to have bigger boxes. Yes. Because nearly everybody said that. Yeah. Yeah. Boxes, I mean, if you're you doing that, you have the photo here, and yeah. then the that's, box that's is there. Yeah. You can have that whole label page. Yeah. And I think you make sure that they are landscape, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. portrait. Yes, they will have to be they landscape have photos because there's no really good fit of portrait. Try and stretching photographs yeah. out was quite right. tricky, wasn't it? Yeah. And keeping it as cheap as possible. Mm -hmm. The only other. I thought I had um, when I was away over a new year. I was reading in one of the local publications there, and one of the towns close by there, they do a calendar. Um, and they don't run it as a competition, but what they do is they, um, the calendar is all old photographs of mm -hmm. the town. So then any money they raise, they, they then buy more old photographs for another time. And they didn't, you know, rather than it's up to you what you decide to do, you could you can either do your competition and run it the same sort of way as you did, or you could mix it up and do one year where you do more vintage old photographs. Mm. And if you could try and target key buildings that were a particular business and then they're now a business and you get that business to sponsor that page mm -hmm. potentially and do it that way mm. so as long as you cover your costs of your printing with your sponsorship mm -hmm. you then yeah, your, your sales then will be whatever yeah it's, it's moving on as well isn't it because you do that too you know the, the the kind of public participation in a calendar competition is good. Yeah. I would have thought. Yeah. Um, it was a struggle to get that, wasn't it? Really? To begin with, it was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. 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 Sponsorship was quite tricky because, as well. But then, I mean, cause there's, I mean, there's loads of when people post on the old Holbeach page, where they say, "Oh, my family used to run that shop." Mm. Would it be nice to actually do it so? Um, say you get a photograph of an old shop and you get a little quote or something from mm. people who yeah. you know the the generations yeah. I mean, could, yeah. you, could you put it out to the public and say we are looking for photographs yeah. of yeah. please submit and then if you've got a story alongside or yeah. something you can kind yeah. of do it and then and you could then i think we should go out to the the outlying villages as well because yeah. mm. it was all whole beach based this time yeah, yeah. And there would have been, you know, going back 50 years, all the villages would, would have had a shop or something. They would have had a yeah. shop at a bookshop and yeah. you know, It would be nice to do. Yeah. Select the photos. Yeah. Our good old historian. Yeah. It would be nice to uh, start selling them earlier as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, if you haven't got a competition and you're just collating, <laughs> mm. you know, if you, you, we could put out the posts like on Old Hole Beach and various places yeah, yeah. and get people to submit. Mm. A photograph alongside with any, you know, a story. Just a little bio or yeah. something. Yeah. 
It'd be nice if it's something associated with them rather than just they found this on Facebook. Yeah. Do we know yet whether we broke even with this year? Well, I think we probably made even. I think even. we did, yeah. We, did yeah, yeah. we didn't sell them all. No. We, had a, we, we did have a push on the last day, didn't we? Mm -hmm. But it was our work on the last day because everybody had already bought them. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was trouble all the way along, really. And I think there's that many other places doing photography calendars. Yeah. It's a big. I think thing. really we want to start selling them in August. Mm. Or even early September at the yeah, latest. Yeah. September is when you really want yeah. to be started. Yeah. If you can get the first festival, that's what you need to be aiming for. That's yeah. what you need to be aiming for. Yeah. Because that's going to be the first weekend in September again. So Who's doing that this year then? Uh, uh, another hey, another. gentleman, yes. Okay. Yeah. But he's happy to work with us, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. So, so we go for a non competition this time? Well, you. <coughs> You could get public participation and, and try and get them to, they, they send in the photographs. Yeah, yeah. We know there's always a pool of, of photographs there if yeah. we don't get enough, but it would be nice to have some well, sort you, can, you can always do a vote on Facebook, can't you, in the poll? Yeah, you see you which, yeah. you know, your top 12 yeah. photos. Yeah, you could actually, yeah, they could do that. Yeah. Because you're going to have, hopefully, more than you're yeah. going to need. So then, yeah. yes, the public mm -hmm. decide on yeah, which so they decide there. and then... Was there a particular thing for this calendar last time? No. No, the no, no, pictures of Old Beach. Yeah. One of the judges has said. Well, not just Old Beach, no, of the parish. Of the parish, but most of them were of Old Beach. Yeah. Somebody, one of the judges, eh, Tesco Dive, he's now known as, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Did suggest we do a waterways of Old Beach and in the areas for this year. So that was his yeah, recommendation to Stephen. Churches, couldn't you? There's churches there. Yeah. Or outlying villages. Yeah. Yeah, which you know they rarely get involved mm. in the churches that they outline mm. religious. <coughs> it's whichever way you want to go with it, don't you? Yeah. Give people. I like the idea of doing the historic ones. Yeah. I think yeah. you. But give people an option. Yeah. And do the vote. Yeah, I think that would be nice to do a. Yeah. Just give two options. Mm. So actually, you get the historic picture and you have them, the historic and the modern side by side. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Old and new. Yeah, I mean, if you did the historic and the modern side by side, you'd want portrait photos, just so you can. Yeah, I mean, on the older stuff, you're gonna to have to watch out for copyright rules, aren't you? Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's it. I bet a lot of them have already been published online already. Doesn't matter. But you could. If there are a photograph belonging to a member of the public, then that's yeah. not. As long as they give us their permission to yeah. use it. Yeah. If they, if they yeah. send it in and say, this is a photo of my dad's shop, yeah. blah, 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 yeah, this yeah. is the story, then they're giving you permission yeah. to use it. Yeah. So that might be. Yeah. I'm just thinking that because there are a lot of yeah. online photos, aren't they, that actually belong to people yeah. mm -hmm. that aren't copyrighted for three years. Yeah. So that's the only thing we've got to be careful of. Yeah. So okay. what's the next step? So we need to get this moving quite quickly. It would work in well with your D Day thing as well. Oh, what? Oh, if you yes. had vintage, it would work in well with D Day. It would actually, yeah. For 2024, yeah. The vintage, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then you could go back well to doing all. more modern the next year, so you're sort yeah, of changing yeah. it up, aren't you? I know you yeah. wouldn't be, well, you say you wouldn't be ready for the coronation, but you could get it ready for the coronation. Or it, if it ties in quite well with the events tonight. Yeah. As long as you can get selling by September. Yeah, that's, when's that's the car show this year? June? Uh, July. July. End of mm -hmm. July. So you have a big cracker place to sell calendars, will mm -hmm. it? I find out printing costs for an A3 type. Yeah, if you, yeah, you find the printing cost. If we... You mean in A3 or you mean in A4? Don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thingy, yeah. yeah. So two... Two times A4. Two times A4. <coughs> which... Landscape. Yeah, yeah. We printed on the A4 portrait mm. last time. So the same amount of paper, but more printing. Because mm -hmm. it ended up being double sided. And then we'll really need to start requesting photographs from yeah. people. So, so we need to. For another poster that needs to be designed. Yes, yeah. Is, yeah. And get photos. So from. again, if, if. I mean. <clears throat> You're happy to do the design and the posters, etc., mm -hmm. etc. So if, if if we were that on that, mm -hmm. yeah. We do have to remember that them. next week, though, Sophie isn't available during the day oh, to that. do council stuff. Yes, I know. Yeah. But <laughs> we're going to monitor you. Yeah, we're going to push her. Yes. Yes. It's going to start again. Yeah.
So a um, poster at a weekend. So if we can get the poster sorted mm -hmm. and we're pinging it around and we're happy okay. with it. Yeah. yeah. So we Rather just than we just like to the next meeting. For, no, ping it around and get going. Yeah. Photograph. Yeah. Past and present. Yeah. yeah. So I mean we could do a bit of a you could, you could do an example. I mean, are we going to do a past and present or are we doing a well, you, 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 well, you can do a mix and match, can't you? Yeah. People, so you can you can do past and present, and then but some people will probably want to send something that is. I don't want to start the conversation of, look how the town's degraded. I'm just going to say that because <laughs> opposite one stop, these little cottages here, was ever once a bakery. Yeah, it was. A bakery. It was. If and people if are reminiscing on the past, it's absolutely horrendous. They're like. It's nostalgic, isn't it? When mm. we go past and present, people all the old bank yeah. Yeah. that's falling to bits. Would you just say we're looking for old photographs that have a meaning to you? Yeah, yeah. yeah to you as an individual. As an individual. And a story from your, the from your childhood yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I think we want a photograph alongside a little. A little story as yeah, yeah. to what, what that means to and you. Make sure that includes the outlying villages as well. Yeah. So that they know. You've got to hook up on outlying villages. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't blame you. Yeah. Yeah. They get forgotten. They do get forgotten. Yeah. 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 Well, that's the trouble, isn't it? Because 95% of the population live in Arby, don't they? So mm. that's yeah, why so it's we not Arby's running yeah. places. Okay. And, we'll, um, mm. and then we can work out if we want to put some form of competition element into it, then mm. we we'll know as they start coming in, yeah. won't we? We can, yeah, do yeah. That yeah. we can get people to, like you said, get people to choose mm -hmm. the, the final 12 or yeah. whatever, can't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. uh, 082 is press releases. So to discuss and resolve to agree press releases in general, I think it's jammed out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It should have gone ages ago, aren't you? It's fast. Okay. Uh, jammed the official press office. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. do we want to go down the route of saying that whatever any committee comes up with, it just gets fired off to jam, proofread, and go out to whatever paper we want to go to? Why, why did this go on the agenda? It's just to put us to basically review, so we are not stagnating, we're constantly telling people what's yeah. happening and what's going on. Yeah. So as PR, well, it's always on the agenda. as events and right? PR, we kind of think about what's happening within the council, what do we, do we put out, come up with ideas. Yeah. So it's really kind of a communications plan. Yeah. Well, you've got several things that are coming up now. Because it's not necessarily <laughs> press release, it's not fearful. I mean, you've got your new year whole thing of, well, this is what we've got planned, and this is the year, which we've already I think started. Honest, it's your main one that's coming up January time is your CCTV. Yeah. You're going to have your meeting for um, Christmas Fair. there, so that can be advertised to put out. You'll have your CCTV, which will be completed in January. Sorry, can I get out? Yes, I'll move my car. Oh, sorry, thank you. Bye -bye. Have a nice time, love. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. And, and these uh, go through to, is it Victoria? Uh, they, yeah, they yeah. go to both. There's, There's what's his name? Richard, Richard Rush. Richard at um, Rush. Yeah, yeah. Rush. yeah, so you've got the Spalding Voice, and then you've got the Free Press and the Spalding Guardian, which is the same, but they do it. So it's partly building that relationship with them. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll just jump in there quickly then, because I had a fallen out with Victoria Fair at the end of last year, didn't I? And got involved quite heavily with Richard, and Richard and I have suggested that, or, or Andrew, I don't know, yeah. I've got his name on the phone, you know, but we get together and have a cup of coffee. Yeah. Um, and discuss how we want to move, how we want to publicise Old Beach and yeah. certain areas, and mm -hmm. how they want to do it to get away from, because unfortunately, yeah. a lot of the Articles that go in are read negatively, aren't they? Yeah. Because they're not read in our favour. Well, that's what I was going to say. This is an opportunity to get ahead of the game, isn't yeah. it? Mm. So it's to put our message out rather than yeah. being so reactive I, to Victoria Fears. What, what we tend to get from her are can we make a comment about some negative thing that's happening? Yeah. I think as well, you've got to think about it from their point of view because, like, I mean, the, the voice hasn't done as many articles 
this year as maybe in previous years because it's dependent on what other stuff's going on and you know they're doing the whole of South Holland aren't they? Yeah. So if Holbeach hasn't really got anything that's yeah. happening in comparison. Yeah. It's um. If I get hold of his email and try and invite him. I think it would be a, a good Monday. idea to probably mm -hmm. have a meeting with both newspapers. Yeah. yeah. Towards the beginning of this year, have yeah, a chat. Yeah. Um, well, again, I mean, ultimately, you, we've already agreed to spend for doing yeah. the advert mm. for um, the precept. Yeah. So, but Isn't if we, it? if we, within events, as part of our spend for events type yeah. stuff, in general mm -hmm. events, that should include advertising. Really. Yeah, yeah, it should do. Yeah. So, yeah. and they're small little ones. Yeah. So, £25. Yeah. So if we foster that relationship that we are regularly advertising with them, yes, that's right. then you yeah. will get a better... It will be more favourable yeah. for yes. us. Yeah. Yeah. They will work them. with you yeah. a lot more. Yeah. 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 Yes, they'll badger you to advertise more frequently, but yeah. if you set out your stall and say, well, this is our budget for advertising, this is what we've got for the whole yeah. year, yeah. this is what we're going to be doing, yeah. these are our key events, we yeah. want... Mm -hmm to work with you to promote I mean, these. if we if we could um, pre-plan what we're wanting to advertise throughout the year, mm. discuss what we've got coming up and, you know, what we're wanting mm. to promote and things like that. It is, it is getting that comms plan, mm. you know, yeah, yeah. month by month. These are the events. Yeah. This is how we want to say it. Because you know you've got your other events, you've got your, your coronation coming up, you've got mm. your car show and things like that. Yeah. So Before I forget, the Village Voice, which yeah. is a little parish magazine that goes around to, well, it includes Holbeach Drove, Holbeach St John's, um, and one or two bits and pieces outside of the parish, but Peter Sparks wrote to me and said that Waplow Drove have a similar magazine which goes out to Holbeach Drove. Right. Could we, and he right. gave me a contact email for the lady that the editor of that magazine could mm -hmm. include that mm -hmm. with you see that would be very useful that particular thing would be very useful when you're trying to foster your contacts to do your mm -hmm. meeting down there mm -hmm. the other yeah. Yeah. we're talking about so we need to use the correct place to advertise for the correct things yeah, don't we? yeah. 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 you have a late five advertiser that comes through the door okay. occasionally as well Mm -hmm. Are you happy for me to send a Peter Sparks? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, we'll. Yeah. The ones that go out to the village voice will we'll include. Send the same ones, we'll yeah. send the same one. I'll get all the contact details for mm -hmm. that. Yeah. It, there's not anything on the other side of A17, that sort of thing, is there? A14, A17. A17. Don't believe so. No, yeah. don't do any. Really. Um, I, don't, I don't know of any. I'll ask one of my little mm -hmm. friends out there. This is the only place I've ever lived in the UK. You don't get free press coming through your front door. Mm. A lot of places have free newspapers, don't they? Free magazines. Maybe you used to. Yeah, I mean, the voice is free, you just have to collect it. I know you have to go out and pick it up. Yeah, yeah. and most of the time it's not there because no, people have already picked it up. Yeah. 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 I want to put something out about the precept and then we have the correct tax base. I suspect because we were early in doing ours, they will do a roundup of all the local mm. precepts. We need to send off that precept poster to um, the voice for the advert that we're actually paying for. And then if we just sort of do an FYI email when we're coming up, you what you need to think about is when is the South Holland District Council meeting that they're agreeing their precept. Because they'll definitely do a piece of that. The date before submission. Okay. So you will have all the parish councils doing it in January at various points, and then South Holland District Council will have their meeting and do their precept, and all the newspapers will do a piece on that. So, but the one the figures that have already been given are they're not quite right. You're not quite right. No, because but didn't have in any. some ways, because you did the whole article earlier on. People are going to be more focused on the other one. They're not really going to be. Do you want to remind them of yeah, spending their money? I, it, it, <laughs> or do you want to just skip over that? You want to do the, the whole thing about this is what we're delivering yeah. for you. Yeah. 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 Everybody's not necessarily focusing on. It's no. cheaper for £2, so I don't think people are going to be too fussed. To be honest. Good. Okay, 27th of January is the. 
and fuck off day. Yeah. So South Holland will be doing that in after that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if we can foster a, a, a meeting with yeah, both yeah. papers yeah. and start to try and so they're aware of what's coming up. Mm. Where we what you know, who they need to be talking to because again they, they tend to sometimes sort of go around well, they need to be sort of told, don't they, that yeah. everything's got to come through yeah. jam. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not from individual yeah. councillors yeah. who don't give the true story out. Yeah. What would you do? Invite them in to, to, mm. to this room, be yeah. yourself. Uh, Coffee yeah. and biscuits or something? Mm. Three yeah. people. Yeah. Sure, we could afford some biscuits. Or well, somebody might bring something in if they got any at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what, you know, you weren't there. No. All right. First type is birthday. We had a with the basket off. Filled it up with different types of biscuits. Oh, did you? Yeah. 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 <coughs> and then the final bit is to discuss some results of really the press release regarding CCTV in Glass Park. Well, Steve has assured me that the installation will start on the 16th. That'll be all the trenches and all the cables laid that week. And yeah. then the following week will be the poles and the cameras being installed and networked together. So I think to be safe, we'll put in the press release that it's been installed at the end of January. Right? Yeah, we'll go live at the end of January. Um, it's expected to go live. It's installed at the end of January. Yeah, okay. yeah. Live okay. date, we don't know. So we, we, do need to, yeah. we do need to agree by this fire cabinet, don't we? Yes, we do, yeah. So, if, so have we got something that's, you did a brief, yeah, we've got so the best this was based on the information supplied by the police. Yeah. Um, wait for it to load up. So, um. Because they've asked some questions, haven't they? Mm -hmm. see yeah, yeah, yeah they've asked email. questions. Um, it was going through the report that we received from the police when we did the consultation and what they were recommending. They obviously recommended CCTV to reduce antisocial behaviour. Uh, the PCSO was told us about how many incidents there were. And 22 oh. incidents reported to us from members of the public. And that's not including the ones that we report. So it's quite a lot. And then it's gone through the different types of incidents there were as well, which would be quite good to include. Um, and obviously she believes that it be helpful to them. So she also says it's, it's crime is also in helping to locate missing children. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. and, and giving your right next to a school so, mm -hmm. on the route to. Yeah, you need to something about GDPR, though, won't we, as well? Because mm -hmm. we'll, we'll definitely get questions on that. Yeah, I would say about mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. signage will be prominent. Yes. And if anybody wants their data. Removing, then please contact. Yeah. 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 Sorry, he's bound to ask. Yeah. I'm sure they will. So, in principle, we're happy with what? Yeah. yeah. Put, the, put the key bits and pieces yeah. together and yeah. And then do you want that going out? As soon as possible. Um, let's just, I mean, we, we've still got the planning press release. Uh, the Voice hasn't had that one yet, and the Free Press have. So Victoria asked about that at the end of the meeting. So you've got that one, you've got the CCTV. Got Christmas Fair, that meeting, which has got to be the first one. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily that doesn't need to, to go, go press, that needs to go on Facebook. Um, yeah. and, and to the key people that are going to be interested, yeah. really. I would, probably, I would probably try and aim for the CCTV one for next week's paper. So. They really need to be sending it tomorrow. Yeah, or <laughs> um, And then, yeah, we can catch up on mop up extra bits after the meeting because then at least that will probably go out before the full council meeting and then they can do anything that's a crop up after that. Yeah. So, is there anything that needs doing in the park for the CCTV? The park will be shut. Monday the 23rd yeah, in the morning, that. Yeah. so that would tie in quite nicely if you need to. I would like to sort of advertise the fact that 
that they weren't going to be going on in the park. Yeah, I think we need to say that, yeah. that, that I mean, the park will be closed on that morning for yeah. that, but there will be work going on between these dates, yeah, these yeah. dates yeah. towards the end of the month, yeah, and, yeah. and there may be some disruption yeah. caused to. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put the holes where the bases are going to go, or the concrete is going to get pulled, they're going to mm -hmm. have to put some form of fences around there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because there's the so big that's sticking out of it. Say about the CCTV being installed in January, yeah. so there'll be work commencing <coughs> between blah blah blah, yeah, blah, yeah. date, and there will also the park will also be shut yeah. on X date for the tree work. Like most of the trenches that he's got to dig will be out of the public's way anyway. Yeah. Because we're going to go down the side of the bowls club fence, aren't we? Yeah. Who said? So we can say about we'll make sure the disruption is as minimal as possible or something like that. As long as they're aware of what's going on. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. And we can put some signs up on the gate, can't we? Some laminated sign. Yeah. And care. if if it gets to the point that we feel that it is not safe, then it will be closed. Yes. Yeah. And we'll just put that out on, on the day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because the if main it, post that might be in a bad position would be the one by the edge of the park, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. And That's that may be well be that you might have to close it off once the work when you've concreted it. You may have to shut it off just yeah. before it's because sets. Yeah. If mm. not. Yeah, I've got problem. Yeah. I don't know how he's planning on doing his concrete and whether he's going to mix it on site or he's going to buy it in bulk. Don't know. Don't know. Because it's three cube of concrete, and there's quite a lot of concrete to mix. I think we it? sort of need to probably speak to him to see yeah. what, what, yeah, what he's planning. Mm. Because then, if it is sensible to close the park on another day, we just need to know that. So yeah, yeah. We, then we can because it may be it may be easier yeah. just to say it's shut for this day, and then you're not got the danger of yeah, yeah. anything happening. Yeah, and the the big open one, we can put that fence in round. I don't know if they've got any rope pins left either. Because Colin mentioned when we looked at the slide when he came over that he keeps losing rope pins from the. Do, yeah. So we might need to buy some more. Yeah. They were fairly cheap, were they? Pound each? Something like that, from yeah. cheaper and juice and something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so if we do a basic um, press release, press release yeah. regarding when it's going to be, when the work's happening and what's going to be. Are we going to do a press release about the slide? Well, when they After come back to us, yeah, when they come back to us, so Which now yeah. should be before the meeting, should yeah. be next week, should yeah. be. Yeah. Well, by the time they come back to us before the meeting, we'll have a definite yay or nay yeah. at the full council meeting, right, of what we're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so we just, again, if there's things that need to be going out there, then obviously Janice, press officer, has got the go ahead to do it. Yes. If it's immediate yeah. that it needs to be done, it needs to be done. Yeah. I'll always ping them out anyway. Yeah, then, but, yeah. If, it's, if it is something that is really important. Well, some of these just be proofreading, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, final item zero yeah. eight. Thank you. Oh, yeah, information. Thank you. Yes, Thank yes. You. Zero eight three is confirmation of taking venue of the next event. So, here, are we done? Can I suggest that we have it before the PPS on the first of? Uh, the only problem would be that you've got Chas, haven't you? He's, if he wants, but he hasn't joined yet. Has he He's not this? joining yet. No, so not yet. Yeah, well. you've, got, you've got to join anyway, haven't you? What? No, no, because no, it's a merge. Merge. Peter wasn't on Peter, was he? No, he's not on Peter. Ah, okay, I didn't know that. Sorry. Follows <laughs> off, Peter. So Charles wanted to join, and we're going to have the agenda item on the next one. Council. Okay. He wants to join so, them all. Yes. Mm. Four weeks to Danny. I'm not here. Where are you? <laughs> When's that? Well, if we all today. Time off. Time off for fingernails. Yeah. Time off for fingernails. Okay. We just did the PPS one on the first of Feb. Yeah. Because you've got four council on the sixteenth, and then you've got another one on the thirteenth. So that's midway. So I can do Monday and. Thirtieth, can I? Yeah, Monday the thirtieth. But then I'm off for the rest of that week. <sighs> okay. What a game. And Monday the sixth is finance. Yeah. And the ninth I can't. Oh, right, so it's either. Tell us what day you can do. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
23rd? What date did you do that? I'm not available on the 23rd. 23rd of January. January, yeah, yeah. 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 a bit soon. You might not be there. Yeah. But I suppose that day. Celebrate my birthday. I, I, I could do the January, I could do the January, January the 7th, or the 7th or 8th, yeah. No, because I don't get the first payment until February. So at the minute, we've only got... Quite a lot of years away. Are we going to do yeah. the same if Chas arrives, if he does join, are we going to do a half, half and half? So that it's yeah. some... One time you're in the yeah. daytime, one time you're in the evening. I prefer daytime ones personally, but I understand. I don't do two evening ones for the same week. No, so yeah. if we. So. Daytime. So when so we do the next year on the Monday? On the, the, the first. Right, so if we could be really only five, we can do daytime. Yeah, um, Tuesday the seventh. Tuesday the seventh, wouldn't that be alright? What so time? Should we do an afternoon for that next one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. So that we can just get ourselves going on things. Yeah. Seventh. 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 Yeah. At what time? Two. Three. Three. Half past two. <laughs> okay. Oh, angle. <laughs> Don't yeah. mind. Half past two thirty. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Do that because if he's not, I mean, he may or may not join. We don't know, do we? No. No. And then we can schedule the March one for later. Yeah. 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 And then it'll be alternate to the PPS. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. makes more sense. Yeah, it does. <coughs> Good old. Thank you very much.